and welcome to another quick and easy tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this painter's easel. As usual the cutting list is in the description box below so let's get started. So we're going to begin by making pencil marks in the centre of the top and bottom support. So just using your smaller rule just make a little pencil mark in the centre of that one. And that one as well and then bring in the central support and we're going to make a pencil mark in the centre widthways just at the top and bottom of that piece as well And then we're going to glue the top and bottom supports to it like that using those pencil lines to line it up. So put a little bit of glue at the top and bottom of that central support. Pop that back down and then attach those pieces lining up your pencil marks the same at the bottom there. Just sort of gently move that along your work surface so that it's not sticking and that can be left to dry for a moment. And then to allow for the slanted sides we just want to trim a tiny little slither off of each of these ends going in at an angle that way. So a really tiny little bit probably about half a millimetre but just at an angle. Very very slight. like that so I've probably taken off half a millimetre at an angle and coming in towards that central support as well. I think all the way through there and then do the same at the top tiny little bit it's just so that the sides can stick into place nicely from there as well and then we can glue these sides on so put a little bit of glue onto each of those angled ends put that back down use the lines on your work surface here so that you're putting the central support evenly from the top and bottom so let me just if you line that up there like that and then have the top of the support touching a line on the cutting mat there and you probably want to go up about I don't know 20 millimeters so you've got about 20 millimeters or three quarters of an inch showing at the top of that support and I'm not going to measure it just because it's so easy to place it by eye like that press those together and then if you bring in the second one and place it so that the top is on that same line on your cutting mat you'll know that you've then got it straight at the top and the bottom. Press it all down like that, press it together as well. Push that along again and once again that can just be left to dry off for a few moments. And whilst that's drying we can attach the holder front and back pieces to the sides of the holder bottom. <laughs> so apply glue along each edge of the bottom piece and I've just used a thin piece for this just because I wanted there to be a bit of a lip at the front and back obviously for the painting to stand in. those strips making sure you've got nice flush edges at each side and then this is where you can bring in a spare piece of strip wood and just press them against the sides I'm just going to move that one along a little bit like that and that then helps you press those evenly all the way along that bottom piece. So 
press them together like that. Getting, slide that piece along and that can be left to dry as well. So bring your first piece back in and erase the pencil marks just using a small piece of sandpaper and support the piece as you're doing that. We're now going to trim off these sort of inside corners at the top just to make that look a little bit nicer. So turn it like that and you're doing the cut again just taking off a little sort of corner at the top of each of those. So if I if I make the first cut and then I can show you what I mean. So go from the corner, hold the piece flat, just go across like that. And we're just making a little angle there. And it just makes that top look a little bit nicer than just having those sort of square edges. So do that on both sides and get it sort of place it evenly like that and then if you imagine when this is standing it's going to be slightly tilted backwards like that so we then want to take those back corners off of the bottom of the legs so have your knife sort of at the front like that and work it so you're going back at a bit of an angle and again you're just taking a little tiny bit off so you're angling that bottom leg backwards like that. So try not to take too much off the length but you just want to do a little angle going back towards the back of the frame like that and do that on both legs. And then when we stand that that's going to look a little bit more stable. So we're now ready to glue the little holder into place. So you want to come up probably about 30 millimetres or an inch and a quarter from the sort of bottom support there. So if you do a little pencil mark, just so you know where you're going to place it, go across there like that. And then again, you can line it up with the lines on your cutting mat. So get that little pencil mark across a line so that you know you're then sitting that straight across the easel. So put a little bit of glue on each of those sort of strips. Like that, roughly in a line. Get it lined up again. And then you can place the holder across there like that, using that line on your cutting mat to make sure it's sitting straight. Press that into place. And then you can use a spare cocktail stick to remove those little excess blobs of glue. Once again, let that dry off for a moment. Bring in your scribe tool and we're going to make a couple of little nail holes at each end of the support. Just a little detail. That side as well. I'm going to be leaving mine as natural wood, but you could add wood dye to it if you wanted to. And if you really wanted to go to town, you could do some sort of paint splatters and things on it. That'd look really nice. On there as well. On the other side. Like that. And then bring in the back leg and again we're going to cut an angle from the top of this so that we can then join that onto the back of our stand. The camera's not high enough there to show you what I mean but if you lay the back leg down again on your cutting mat and we want to do quite a deep angle this time so you probably want to go down from that top corner about six millimeters or a quarter of an inch let me just get a better angle so come down from that top corner right from the corner and then down about six millimeters like that so you're making quite a sort of sharp point up there so apply glue to the angle and 
and we can then stick that to the back of the easel so it's sort of level with the central support and so that it reaches the top of that top support there. Press those together. Make sure that it's sitting right in the centre of the central support. You sort of have to press them together in your hands because we can't lay the easel down. Give them a good firm press. Press and hold. Get in there and remove that excess glue. And there is the completed easel. And all it needs now is a painting. And this lovely painting was done by my husband Matt. You may have seen some of his videos here on the channel. And this particular one is for sale in my Etsy shop, along with quite a few others. So do take a look if you're on the lookout for miniature paintings. So I hope you've enjoyed today's quick and easy tutorial and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.